I want to tell you the story of Irina Sendler. It's a name that I didn't even know until last year. But once I heard the name, it's connected to a story that I have never forgotten. This woman was born in 1910. She was outside of Warsaw. By 1940, she had become an administrator in Warsaw's welfare department as Hitler occupied Poland. Well, the Nazis, if you remember right, they took half a million Jews and they shoved them in the ghetto and then they cut off all the basic health services, even food. Now, Irina was responsible for controlling tuberculosis in the area so she could go wherever she wanted without any restriction. And she used that freedom to convince Jewish parents to let her hide their children. Imagine the scene, please let me take your children. This woman worked so hard to rescue the children of the ghetto. Sometimes she carried them in a burlap sack or she would put them in a casket to elude the Nazi guard. She'd put them in an ambulance right next to her in the back seat and her dog she trained to constantly bark when she was questioned so the Nazis couldn't hear the cries of the children in the sack or the coffin. They'd just hear the dog. Sendler then gave the children all new names and documents, and she placed them with Christian families. But she didn't want their original identities to die, so she wrote down their real names and buried them underground in a jar in her backyard by an apple tree. Eventually, she was caught by the Gestapo. She was brutally tortured. They broke her feet and her, and her legs uh, with wooden clubs, just beat her and beat her. She was then scheduled to be executed, but she escaped by bribing a guard, and she lived in secret until the war was finally over. Once she was free, the first thing she did was dig up that jar next to that apple tree. She attempted to put the lives of the rescued children back together. Unfortunately, most of the parents were killed, but she placed many with relatives. Irina Sendler, she wound up, uh, wound up rescuing 2,500 Jewish children from certain death at the hands of the Nazis. She lived the past few years, what an amazing woman, at a nursing home. She was actually cared for by a woman that she had smuggled out of the ghetto when she was only six months old. Irina had carried her in a toolbox with a dog barking at her feet. I told you that I had only heard this story last year. When I heard it, it was because she was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. She lost to Al Gore and his movie about a slideshow. Yesterday, she died, and it is despicable that she did so without winning the Peace Prize, but I'm sure if you asked Irina, she would have been worrying about other things, um, and right now, today, she's reaping her real rewards, and they are far more substantial. From New York, good night, Irina.